Finally, after so many rumors that Outdaughtered was cancelled and gone forever, TLC just announced that they're back with the new season premiering in July. Let's talk about the trailer, what we can expect from the new season of Outdaughtered, why they came back in the first place, and of course, let's do a quick update on the Busbies and where they are now. So Outdaughtered, the trailer starts and uh, they're in a pink limo. The girls are like freaking out in there and they look so much older from the last time we saw them. Danielle says, the girls are getting older, they're loud, and they bring the sass. So, so truth be told, the Busbies said that they actually thought they were done with the show forever and that they thought, oh yeah, that was like a good season of life or something, but that God led them to making more TV. More on that later. But at one point in the trailer, the girls organize a spa day for Danielle because, I mean, she has a lot on her plate and for sure needs to relax. And it looks like the least relaxing thing ever. It's like a fun little thing. So a lot of lighthearted content on Outdaughtered as usual. And then the drama for the season seems to be Hazel is struggling to learn how to ride a bike compared to the other sisters. And they kind of think it could be her vision. But Danielle seems in a little bit of denial that it could be her vision. And it's, she's like, let's not assume every time that it's her vision. But clearly, it could definitely be her vision. So poor little Hazel just deserves a break, you know? You can still see a little bit of like the shifting in her eyes a bit, but she seems to be doing well. And she's so pretty with her red hair, and she's literally my favorite. So, you know who I didn't see in the trailer, though? Uncle Dale. Like, seriously, we need a little bit of... What do they call them? Dazel? Uncle Dale and Hazel together? And the major drama of the season, it seems, will be... Drum roll, please. Danielle balancing her work and home life, which is basically so relatable to every working mother and not like super drama, like sister wives, let's say, but it's pretty wholesome. So she opened up a storefront for her boutique, Grayson B, which fun fact, if you didn't know, Grayson was the name she had picked if she had a boy, but then she had like six girls. Anyways, Danielle's absence from the home is putting more pressure on Adam, like a lot of pressure on him. He seems to be having a somewhat tough time. I mean, who wouldn't? It's six kids. And it's the age old tale of when the woman works more, it creates some tension in the relationship. But Danielle's like the face of the brand, so she has to be there. Anyways, super duper relatable. The Busbies admitted that a few years ago, they actually thought that they would never come back. They opened up on their YouTube channel about the new season and why they're doing it in the first place. So FYI, the Busbies are fairly religious. It's not like really in your face when you watch the show, but they really are. I mean, the story goes that they did this fast with their church and that, well, they heard a lot of stories that week about how the show helped others in like specific ways. And they realized that maybe their job is to like just create entertaining content that families can all watch together and that makes them feel good, you know, and not to like push the religion agenda or whatever. So that's what they're doing. And um, yeah, but their faith is ultimately what is driving everything for them. So definitely something to keep in mind. And now for the update. So recently, Adam talked about mental health because remember when he was so public about his depression and his feelings about... Um, anyways, now he kind of feels like he's not the guy or not equipped to be this like person to talk about mental health on his show. He said, this is scary, a scary one for me, but vulnerability may be the best way to speak. Not just being vulnerable about myself and my own struggles, vulnerability in thinking I'm not equipped to help someone. I missed mental health awareness month, but I don't think this is something 
that should be a designated month? Let me know your thoughts. Do you have any words of encouragement? Any way that opening up about this on our show has helped you or anyone you know? So Adam seems to be kind of dealing with some vulnerabilities in this sense. I thought he was like really... I thought it was really big of him to share his battle with depression um, on the show in earlier seasons. I wonder what we'll see this this season. Anyways, Adam seems to be like working out quite a bit lately. He's pretty buff, honestly. And he just celebrated his 41st birthday. Under this picture, they said, happy birthday to the man, the myth, the do-it-all dad, the guy named Adam Busby. We're so happy to celebrate you today my love cheers to another year of you and to another year of getting even hotter (laughs) love you big so this is so cute and danielle also went on a mom getaway to savannah georgia which must be nice to get away like that i'm not bitter at all but uh yeah Honestly, they do go on cute little vacations and they seem to be thriving overall. And I'm excited to see what this new season brings and if they're going to continue the show. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and I will talk to you guys soon. 